Tonal drawing is often found to be an alien way of drawing for many students. And that's largely due to the fact that if you think about from childhood through to early adulthood, most of us tend to draw in line. When one picks up a piece of charcoal, the temptation is often to use charcoal like a pencil. And that's not always the best way of using a piece of charcoal. Far too often, too much pressure is exerted on the end of the charcoal, and that can cause the charcoal to snap and break. Which is one of the reasons why I tend to prefer to use heavier charcoal, in this instance, scene painter's charcoal. Charcoal can be an incredibly subtle material, and if held very, very delicately, in this instance you can see the weight of the hand is taken onto the fingers, rather than on the end of the charcoal, one can produce incredibly delicate light marks. Someone can feel one way around the surface of the paper and gradually, by adding pressure, make the tones darker. One's leaving a very, very fine deposit of charcoal on the paper, so not only is it very easy to make the mark, it's also very, very easy to remove the mark. When we think about linear drawing, we're tending to delineate between one object and the next object. In tonal drawing, we're thinking about light. One of the beautiful things about charcoal drawing, and in this instance we can see it quite clearly, is that if the drawing is going wrong, it's very, very easy to rub it out and rework it. By covering the paper with charcoal, we can now start to work in reverse, using the eraser to rub away charcoal to reveal the lines. The rubber is a really, really key tool in tonal drawing as well. Also, this drawing uses a stump which is a rather stiff rolled up piece of paper, which enables one to move the charcoal around to produce more subtle greys than we can be done with the finger. Sometimes a little bit of grease on the end of the finger can cause these tones to smudge and the stump prevents you from having that. So the drawing can be added to and taken away quite easily. And it's very easy to move between those two things of adding and taking away until one finds the drawing that one wants to actually make at the end. Great examples of charcoal drawing can be seen with artists like Singer Sargent and Sura, who was a great tonal artist. Especially in this latter stages, it's quite advantageous to shape the rubber by cutting it with a knife. One can produce very, very fine points and edges. And it's also useful if one requires a pencil rubber for those very, very small key points of light.